Apple's master plan for artificial intelligence. From revolutionizing your iPhone experience to creating groundbreaking advancements in AI, Apple is on a mission to change the game. But what exactly are they up to? In this video, we'll break down Apple's latest AI strategies, explore their secret projects, and reveal what this means for you as a user. Apple's WWDC keynote revealed a significant focus on artificial intelligence. This includes a partnership with OpenAI's GPT-4 technology and their own in-house models. There's a lot to unpack, so let's break it down step by step. Firstly, availability. The beta launches this summer and full features arrive in fall 2024, likely with the new iPhones in September. However, there is a catch. Only iPhone 15 Pro models will have access initially. For iPads, M1 chips or newer are required and Macs need M chips. So now let's start with the AI features. Apple uses its own models for on-device AI and image generation while GPT-4 is integrated for other tasks. This focus on user-friendliness is a departure from technical names like Opus and GPT-40. Apple targets everyday consumers. Apple's new AI, Apple Intelligence, focuses on functionality, not technical details. We'll explore its features shortly, but importantly, these features will work system-wide, even in your favorite third-party apps. First, Apple Intelligence prioritizes notifications based on your context. It analyzes your messages, calendar, notes, and even photos and videos to personalize your experience. For example, urgent work notifications might be prioritized differently than those eat during dinner with family. Next, Apple Intelligence integrates writing tools. These tools focus on common needs like rewriting text to a conversational tone or shortening it. While power users might miss advanced features like GPT-40 tone adjustment, Apple prioritizes user-friendliness. While prompting for specific actions isn't required, it is still an option for those who prefer it. One interesting tidbit, Apple even revealed a built-in prompt for proofreading. This exemplifies the overall theme, making AI features intuitive and accessible. These improvements are system-wide, working across your entire OS and all your apps, not just Apple's built-in ones. While not all apps will support every feature, let's explore summaries. Summaries will be available across your entire OS, automatically providing key points from emails, messages, and more. And this is particularly helpful for emails where you can quickly grasp the essence without relying on your sender's preview. Apple prioritizes user privacy and all processing happens on your device. We'll discuss privacy in more detail later, but beyond writing assistance, on-device AI can now transcribe phone calls and other audio. Another exciting feature is reduce interruptions a middle ground between do not disturb and having notifications on. Apple's AI analyzes messages, context, calendar events, and ongoing conversations to determine notification relevance, and this is a feature I personally would use a lot. Further enhancing communication, smart replies allow quick and easy responses to messages. Simply choose a pre-written response or edit a draft generated by the large language model. These text and transcription features are impressive, but there's more. We'll explore new image generation features in a revamped Siri with even some chat GPT integration. However, understanding image generation is key before diving into Siri as Siri ties everything together. Apple's image generation focuses on artistic styles like animation, illustration, and sketch, not photorealism. This avoids deep fakes but limits detail compared to leaders like Midjourney. However, it is free and on device. One interesting feature is fine tuning where you can create a stylized version of yourself. It integrates seamlessly, allowing you to use the image in messages, contacts, and even create custom emojis. Beyond fun features, Apple integrates AI image generation into various apps. For example, in Notes, you can turn a sketch into a detailed image or have the AI generate an image based on surrounding text, like adding an architectural image to a note about Indian architecture. This is perfect for presentations or documents, eliminating the need for external tools. Similar to Google Photos' recent update, Apple offers an object removal tool where you simply draw around the unwanted element. Another exciting feature uses AI to understand photos and automatically create video montages based on your prompts. This seems like a significant improvement over current options, and we're eager to test it out. This is an exciting step towards advanced video editing capabilities, but another feature surprised me even more. Semantic search across all your photos and videos. You can describe any object in your photos or videos and your phone will find them. However, there are some unknowns. How deeply will it consider personal context? Will it search 2015 vacation videos for a new email? 
It seems challenging to analyze massive personal data stores, as phones are often used like external hard drives. This raises privacy concerns, too. Apple emphasizes security and privacy. They claim on-device processing for most features. However, complex tasks like chat GPT integration require cloud computing. To address privacy concerns in these cases, Apple promises private cloud compute. Data will supposedly be never stored and audited by experts. This will all happen on custom Apple servers designed for AI allowing AI to understand your context without compromising data. For those unfamiliar with local versus cloud models, some AI models can run locally on your device even without top-of-the-line specs. Smaller models like Meta's Llama offer a good balance of performance and size. You can even run these models offline. However, powerful models have far more parameters and require cloud processing. Let's break down model sizes. Tiny models around 8 billion parameters can run locally on your device without an internet connection, but they have limited capabilities. Massive models like the upcoming 400 billion parameter competitor to GPT-4 offer impressive knowledge but require cloud processing. Apple prioritizes user experience. You'll use these features seamlessly without knowing if they're processed locally or in the cloud. This focus on ease of use comes at the expense of transparency. You won't see the technical details behind each action. Now let's talk about Siri. Siri retains its current voices, but its capabilities are getting a major upgrade. A new visual indicator shows when Siri is using Apple intelligence, and Siri will now be powered by large language models, allowing for more natural interactions. Imagine saying Siri, set an alarm for, actually make it a five minute timer. Siri will understand your intent despite the mid-sentence change. This is a big improvement over Siri's current limitations, which often require very specific phrasing. You can now make requests similar to how you would talk to a person. For example, show me the files June sent me last week. Siri will understand who June is in your context and search through your emails from that time frame. This access to context allows Siri to not just assist you, but to act on your behalf, a powerful new feature. However, there is privacy concern. Siri will also be able to see what's on your screen. Apple's focus on user experience extends to Siri. Siri can now see your screen, which combined with calendar access allows for more informed recommendations and actions. While not as advanced as OpenAI's GPT-4, Siri will integrate seamlessly with a limited version accessible through iOS and iPadOS. Notably, a full chat GPT integration is coming, eliminating the need for a separate app. This integration goes beyond just Siri. Apple's partnering with OpenAI to bring advanced features like data analysis and creative writing to Apple devices. These features go far beyond summarizing emails or generating basic images. One final point, all these AI features will be available to developers through the Siri Kit Developer Kit. This means a wave of AI-powered apps is coming to the App Store by Fall 2024, all accessible for free on compatible devices. This represents a significant step towards mainstream adoption of AI, making it accessible to a broader audience. AI is no longer the exclusive domain of tech enthusiasts. It's about to become a part of everyday life for millions of people. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in to learn all about Apple's AI plans. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more in-depth tech insights and the latest updates from the world of AI.